Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jennifer, and today we're talking about the panting breath. So the panting breath is an amazing breath to use during labor. So we see that a lot, using the panting breath to take the diaphragm off the, the guts and the pelvic organs to decompress the pelvic floor so that the pelvic floor and the pelvis can work a lot better during labor. But this is a lesson that we can take into everyday life. So everyday life, we have a lot of stress, a lot of clamping down, a lot of us are really dominant in our external obliques, and so it's creating lots and lots of pressure downward. So for all of us, once a day, <laughs> we should uh, get into an inclined position and use a panting breath to help really to de um, decompress the pelvic floor. So the panting breath can be done through the nose or the mouth. So a nice gentle incline that almost anyone can do would be on the forearms and the knees. So bringing the hips above the head, you can relax the head and the jaw, and then here start to pant nose or mouth. Take a big inhale at the end of your panting. Hold at the top of the inhale, float at the top of the inhale, really feel the front of the rib cage and the side of the rib cage open, and then you want to exhale, hold it at the top of your exhale, hold it, hold it, feel that suctioning, like you're trying to pull the back of the belly button up and under the rib cage, and then you want to wait for that automatic inhale to happen like the rib cage is a bellows, and you want that front, back, side of the rib cage opening. So let's look at that again. So we want to go into the panting breath, nose or mouth. Good, and then after you finish that sequence, you can just sit into child's pose. So that, especially in the incline position, is gonna be an excellent way to decompress the pelvic floor. Now, another idea is to hang. And this hanging with the panting breath is taking the diaphragm up and off the pelvic organs again, and it's giving you this beautiful tractioning of the rib cage and the fascia underneath the shoulder blades. So you can hang on anything, a pull-up bar or the Cadillac. And here I'm gonna let my toes just barely touch the floor, and then I'm gonna let my head sink down into my rib cage. So my ribs are lifting up, my shoulders are going up to my ears, and it's actually a pretty hard to relax into this and pant, but it's a great way to decompress the pelvic floor and get that lifting of your diaphragm. Here we go. And on that last inhale, you can kind of connect your shoulder blades into the mid-back for that kind of finale. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.